Hi, my name is John Wedlock. I'm the theme lecturing night here at the Lodge. And today's festivities are to honor Joe Patrick for a 600 mile walk to visit all the sites that were involved in the 9 11. He carried a uh, turnout jacket from the local fire department and brought it to Station 54, where he brought it there, signed by all the people that he met along the way. He carried a flag, which is represented here on the, on the yard today, and we're just going to take this day to honor him, give him a pat on the back, and say thank you for all he's done. Thanks. I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> As you all know, Joe did what he calls a one man's walk to honor the fallen heroes of September 11, 2001. Joe has walked 650 miles to 9-11 crash sites. As everyone knows, 10 years ago, maybe you don't know, but Joe went to the crash site where the two planes struck the World Trade Center. Joe volunteered his time there to help uh, anything he could do with, in doing that destruction. And Joe has always wished that he could do more. And so, in memory of the honor of the befallen, befallen victims of September 11, 2001, Joe decided to carry our American flag to each site and pay his respects. On his way, he visited many elf lodges and fire departments, where he was given encouragement and well wishes of all he met. Joe, you have made us all very proud. You carried the flag in memory of all the victims of September 11, 2001. In doing so, we feel you carried the flag for all of us. You are a true hero, and for this, we thank you. <laughs> so, we have here for you a presentation of this little plaque presented to Joe Tiger Patrick in recognition and dedication of one man's walk to honor the fallen of September 11, 2001. Uh, Joe was carrying the flag walking over the bridge. Is that in, uh, what's, where's that at, Joe? That's uh, the free bridge going between East End, Pennsylvania, into Phillipsburg, New Jersey. They, they held the bridge up for me. It's very nice. This is for you, Joe. On behalf of the South King Sound Fire Relief Association and all of its members, we'd like to present you with a couple things. First, this Union Fire District Challenge coin. Nice. And also, Union Fire District patch. Beautiful. And also, I threw in a station free patch for good measure. Awesome. Well, you're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> it continues. We, uh, 
we at the South Kingstown Firefighters Relief, as you may know, have a parade on the 25th of September. We'd like to ask you to be a co grand marshal in that parade. Oh, you and your flag. Nice. Thank you very much. I'm honored. Thank you, Nate. Dear Joe, congratulations on a job well done. You have made all who know you proud of your accomplishment. Your actions have reinforced memories that should never be forgotten of the heroes that died on 9 11. More importantly, you are an uplifting symbol for generations yet to come about an event that changed America and world history. Thank you for carrying the flag for all of us, Joe. May God bless you and all our fallen comrades. Signed, Jack Casey. I would like to congratulate Joe for what a job he did for 9-11. And I'm very happy he's home and he's safe. And I'm, I want to congratulate him. I'm very proud of Joe the way he did. All he did for us, he trained me and everything else. I think he'd get a lot of encouragement from me, too. <laughs> and I'm very proud of Joe. Welcome home. and Welcome home and God bless you. Pennsylvania, Flight 93 crash site, and then the final destination, Ground Zero. I couldn't understand why I was doing this, but then I realized Joe wasn't doing this for himself. Joe was walking for everyone who suffered great loss <coughs> and devastation, the se fateful September day, which would change every person forever. Joe worked hand in hand with the rescue teams, first responders, firefighters, and other volunteers. I hadn't realized until the past month how much of an impact Joe has had on other people. If anyone deserved this much recognition for something so selfless, it would be you, Joe. Everyone here knows Joe in some fashion, through Special Olympics, his walk, a friend, fellow elf member, or family. And we can all say what an amazing guy Joe is, and what amazing things Joe has done. Joe, let God be with you through all your endeavors. We love, Caitlin. <coughs> It, it makes us proud to be Americans and inspires us to be better to one another. Thank you for that, Joe. This also applies to the fire stations, small communities, hotels, and all the people that took care of you from your, in, with their warm hospitality from Maryland to New York City. With their help, it showed us there was still goodness out there to bring you home safe to us. Once again, we thank you for your strength, encouragement. God bless you, and once again, welcome home. And Joe, I speak in for the 6,000 Elks in the state of Rhode Island and the 1 million Elks in the United States who you have made all proud by making that march, and when making that march, and carrying that flag, which is so close to our altar as love else, and close to our heart as Americans. You have emphasized the type of people that we have in this community and across this country. And we cannot express enough dedication that you have put into this project and I hope that people will all remember 9-11 and when they remember 9-11 also remember Joe Patrick. Thank you. Um. I'm overwhelmed, very humbled by all of this. I had heard there was something when I went to the plant center on Tuesday. Everyone had a flyer and came running up to tell me they were going to my party. So <laughs> I didn't have any idea about this. The shirts, the trucks, the firefighters coming up. 
I probably cried like 500 times. And the hardest part of the trip, people, it seems like the common thing that people ask, how many miles did you go? What was the hardest part? The physical stuff, that goes away, the pain. The hardest part for me literally was walking away from firefighters that I met the night before. They're like family to me. Take me in overnight, introduce me to their families, have dinners, you know, being treated. And all I was doing was trying to honor them, but they were honoring me. But there's some crazy guy out there willing to walk, and etc. So the hardest part really was saying goodbye to them. Uh, the other part was I really miss a lot of people in this room. A lot of you guys are my backbone and my support. And I'm overwhelmed that you would get together as a group, try to keep it a secret, and get something together like this. I, I really appreciate it. I'll forever be grateful for this. I love you all very much, so thank you. Uh, give yourselves a round of applause. I had to step out to um, actually pick up a special delivery for Mr. Patrick. Joe, there's a lot of people here today that think the world of you, um, and I know that you've heard from them already. And um, there's some people that are, are perhaps not here today, but the community totally supports what you've done and there's um, a few things that we have for you. So if you'd like to take a seat. Mm -hmm. Here. How many miles have you done, Joe? Somewhere around 650, 630. I don't really want to know. OK, <laughs> that's a lot of miles. Um, did you ever have to change your shoes while you were walking? Yes. How many times? Uh, three pairs. OK, this is a gift from Feet First in, in Wakefield. Oh, nice. So that you can get yourself wow. a new pair of athletic shoes. Very nice. Thank you. Now, on your journey, um, we know that in addition to walking to the various crash sites from 9-11, that um, you really went with only the essentials, right? It was just you, your pack, and your flag. So your, your pack has seen a lot of wear, and I'm sure it's probably a, a, a treasured memento for you now. So Sam's Army Navy has given you this new backpack. Oh, nice. Actually, I had over 200 police officers and rangers sign the backpack that I'll be giving to my VFW. Well, I didn't know, Ray, you were going to be here today. I would have brought it. I'm so sorry, but I'll bring it to the next meeting. Okay, Joe. This was a momentous occasion in your life. I know that you're always going to cherish it forever and ever, but we want to make sure you do, so please go ahead and open that. This is from your friends here at the Alps, as well as Graphic Expressions. Oh, nice. <laughs> This is really nice. On the front it says, One Man's Walk. On the back it says, Honor Our Fallen Heroes, September 11th, 2001. Very nice. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. We're proud of you, Joe. Thank you. So much. For those of you who are not Elk, this is what Elkham is all about. 